everyone if you're there <laughs> this is an off the cuff live guys we thought we'd have a little chat about uh, spirituality gonna answer some questions for me yeah yeah and we're gonna have a little go with the drum so i'm gonna give her this one <laughs> yay there's one instrument you'll look never at that me. right you put that between your knees and you use your like that Find you lucky if you keep it upright, yeah, like that. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's no. there right now. No, I doubt if anyone will turn up. Well, this, it funny. doesn't matter because we'll put it up later. Yeah. So, right, so you're going back to school, aren't you? Really soon, yeah, you're going back to school. So, so if we do like if I do a beat of one, yeah, just like that. things like uh 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 laughing go uh, go on you do it <laughs> come on okay. um uh, uh, that's all right you sing normally come on that sounds like a now <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> putting you through it a bit. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three now, right? Ready? One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. You can do it both hands. Go one, two, three, one, two, three. that one yeah sure and i'll try this one yeah there you go there you go and we can yeah. try and make a little little thing with the three i think the three sounds quite nice yeah okay. so if you go one two three one two three one two, oh three, someone's here oh hi, hi everyone <laughs> so if you go one two three so one two three one two three today whoever's arrived and it's oh, no one's here. have they gone again okay oh wait something went wrong try again oh is it doing that again i just have to try oh yeah okay oh, okay yes yeah, so basically I'm doing a little drumming session to help summer learn but also it's the last day before she goes back to school and i go back to work and we thought we'd just do a quick live and talk about her spiritual what's going on in her life spiritually oh. <laughs> what the camera why does it keep doing that what <laughs> it went that way what do you mean it's just the way it started moving while you were talking <laughs> was it <laughs> okay and talking about the spiritual th side of her life and because i missed the, the the live last week i thought it'd be good to just do something off hi the person <laughs> Okay, so you do the one, two, three. Yeah. One, 
You told me you didn't like the, any instruments, but uh, it was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was like me, like one of my first times I could draw yeah. an instrument. <laughs> right. So while we're talk, while we're here with this, we can talk about your spiritual life, what's okay. going on, okay. and I know that you've been quite busy. So yeah, but you do have things that happen to you spiritually, don't yeah. you? Yeah, some stuff happens. Like what sort of stuff has been happening lately? Anything? Um. Have you had any, like, things happen at night or, like, you've just noticed things about people? Or is there anything you can put your finger on that has changed? I don't know. Um, when I'm in there, I keep thinking I see something at the back door, but then I, but then it's something weird because I don't know if it's there. I'm just, just yeah. imagining it. But it's like, <laughs> it's like I'll, think, I'll sort of just see something... I don't know. It's weird at the corner of my eye. I'll just That's it. how it, yeah. And that is the mediumistic side of you. Um, yeah. That is how it starts up when you are actually doing anything spiritually. So, guys, if you are starting out and you're getting things at the corner of your eye, it's there. It is really there. And it's just perceiving it. Yeah. So a lot of people, when they start off, get that. Or they see yeah. things on the floor, um, little dark patches that move. Yeah. And I remember we had one that somebody in the circle <laughs> that thought they were seeing a spider running around all the time. And it wasn't. It was this little little bit of black, like looked like a little black mass. And it was like running around. But it wasn't a creature. It was an energy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it doesn't scare me, it just, like, it's just, it doesn't, like, it just feels, like, I don't know, it does, it's not scary, but it's not, I need to keep it an eye on. Yeah, the, nothing's in the comments so no. far. No. no, I mean, just keep an eye on it. Yeah, I can't I will. see, I can't see it's that way round. Yeah, I will. Okay, so do you want to do a bit more drumming? Yeah, sure. Okay. So if you want to do, what one do you want to do? A one, two, three. That's another one which is good, and that's a one, two, three, four, zero. Yeah. So you count in your head yeah. one, two, three, four. So it's one. Two. So you skip, so it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay. One, two, three, four. No, you did the two, so oh. it's one and count two, but don't hit it. Okay. One, one two, two, three, four. One, oh, no. <laughs> one, one two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, one, two, two three, three, four. <laughs> it takes a lot of concentration. Yeah, That's one. why people start off with just ones and twos. It's yeah. easier. I like that one. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, A good one so for anyone out there that doesn't know how to drum i thought it'd be great to do something like this to give you ideas about the how you beat it out so there's the ones the twos 
the threes and the fours, but there's also the fives. So if I show you, yeah. so five would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five. That's yeah. so you sort of go. You, it's just basically letting it take over. So you go like let go a minute. Yeah. So you go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. So Try that one. Three, four, oh, no, five. Four. Yeah. You skip four. No. One, two, three. You miss three and then do four, okay. five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. One, two, three. Mm. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. You've missed oh. that. <laughs> one, two, three. No. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, four, five. Yeah. One, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah. I don't know, guys, if you're interested in any of that, but it's great fun. It's up to read. Oh, what? To see you live. Hmm? Um, hey. As I said, to get it up on there. We've got it was on fast and I can Oh, yeah, I see it. Let's turn it down. Yep. Oh, hey, I finally got to see a live. Electro. Electro. Uh, it's me commenting. It's me. Oh, hi, Electro. <laughs> It's nice that you're here. Oh, we Hi. just did this off the cuff just in case someone Hi. was around. And I just thought we would do a little bit of a drumming bit together yeah. and talk about Summer's spirituality because, yeah, she's an up-and-coming one of us. Hey. <laughs> so I hope you're well and I hope all's good. So we're going to talk about how music helps us with our practice, yeah? How do you think magic corresponds with, say, the drum, for example? Does it does it give you a feeling? No, I just sort of do it. I don't really get the feeling to it. You don't get the feeling for like the music, but you enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it. I just don't really get the feeling. Because the drum and all things musical help us to raise energy and help yeah. us to connect. I don't know what instrument. It's definitely not a guitar. I hate a guitar. You hate the guitar. I can't fit the ukulele. No, no, <laughs> no way. But I tell you what, you say you have trouble going off into something, but when you're banging the drum, if, for example, if you just did the one, yeah, yeah so like this, yeah, holding it like one, two, three, just like that, right? So it's not easy to go wrong, and I'll do the other bits in between, yeah, and I'll take us somewhere very quickly, all right. Yeah? Okay. So if you start. Try to do it like this. Yeah. So you get it in the right tempo. So yeah. you go one, two, one, two, one, right. two. Yeah? yeah? And that way you're in tempo. All right. Okay? One, two, one, two, one, two. And try and keep it like that. Yeah? difficult to read it that way around yeah oh no it's not it yeah um just leave it up darling yeah leave it up uh this is peaceful and relaxing i might drift off to sleep <laughs> cool uh, he also says, i like music oh that's good that's good so if you just leave it there just see it coming up then when you can see it yeah. Um, yeah, music is brilliant, especially if you want to relax or you you just want to 
uh, find that time where you can just be in spirit. It's quite behind. Mm -hmm. It's quite behind in your life. Is it? Yeah. Like, I put the phone down ages ago. Okay. This is quite slow. <laughs> so for anyone out there that likes music, you know, this is ideal for you to go. And, I mean, you don't enjoy music, but you enjoy doing that. Yeah, I like, I enjoy listening to music, but yeah, I do it. Um, that's like the only thing I do really is listen to it. But yeah. when I play it, it's not really. That's not... because you don't normally do it. Maybe. But if you was to start doing it, I think you would get something out of it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So there is actually an instrument that I do like. There is an instrument that does actually set out to me. What's that? Piano. Oh, the piano. That's a nice I one. Like, you know. It's really like, you know them baby toys you get? And <laughs> yeah. they're like black with the colour. And you like have like basically this, but it's metal. Okay. And you hit them with that. Is it okay. the Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. Xylophone. The xylophone, isn't it? I really like them. Mm. They're cool. They've always stuck out for me then. Yeah. I think music is the, the feast of the gods, you know. They love to listen to it. The universe is full of energy. And each planet makes a noise as it rotates. And it's a just one note yeah and each planet if you put those notes together it will make a beautiful song and i remember when i was learning all about this how the solar system sings a song and so if that sings a song then we are numbers and music that's how we are yeah so in your spiritual life as you're starting this will aid you to be able to reach places that you don't normally able to do that yeah and it does help even if you don't play an instrument you can actually just download like drumming sessions and things so that you can listen to it and you know just go with the flow but i think when you do it yourself yeah you're building that energy up and it's a nice feeling he said in primary school we learn in music class drums Unfortunately, in the current school, we don't have music. Oh, we do. Oh, you do, yeah. yeah. We have music. Oh, it's a shame that you haven't got music at the moment. Oh. Maybe, a, you know, I don't know what year you're in, but um, yeah. maybe later on. Yeah, what year are you in, if you don't mind? Um, I'm near. I'm going into year 10. Yeah, year 9. I was in year 6, so it's the end of year 10. Yeah. Which is scary. So from your perspective then, as a person of your age group, do you notice that there are people around that have the similar interest as you in spiritual things? Or do you not? No. I don't think there's So there's nobody you know of that not really. is sort of into any of that? No, not really. It's a bit, it's a bit lonely really when you start off. Yeah, I don't really know anyone that does. But, mm. yeah. So, like, when it comes to our festivals and things, it's... Yeah, no one really... No one knows no. anything about them, do um, they? There's, what is it, Summerfest and stuff like... Not Summerfest, um, you know, um, on Halloween and that... Oh, Samhain. Um, yeah. yeah, like, um, you know the one that the cousins are born on? Summer, oh, Solstice. Oh, Summer Solstice and, and winter, winter Solstice, solstice yeah. yeah. They're the ones I fully remember. Mm. Um... But I don't remember the dates, apart from um, Halloween. Well, we're know. coming up to the first Harvest Festival now, um, shortly, and... Oh, going into year 11. Oh, okay. Oh, so year 11. Are you a year older than me, then? <laughs> I'm going to guess... Wait, Spencer's been... He's doing his GCSEs. Yeah, it's year, the same so. year as Spencer then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a year older than so me. So you'll be I doing think. exams and things. That's going to be... I think I start because of stuff. Um, it'll be next year or maybe a few mm. years after. Okay. So I think it's maybe two years or next year. Like right. practice next year. And then the year after I... Or the year after I do it. Right. If I want to take the three years. But I'm 22. Right. <laughs> yeah. I so you don't want to do the third one then? No. Why is that? I just don't really like school. <laughs> I kind of want to go to Yeah, college. but it might change though, it might, as you... What, you mean you want to go to college instead? Yeah, I do two years of sixth form. What do you want to do, Electra? Do you want to go on to college? I'm 15, 
16 in September. Yeah, you're a year older than me then. Yeah. I'm 15 next year. I was researching stuff and people called me a Satanist. Really? And and annoying. How does the how does Norse paganism have anything to do with Satanism and the devil? <laughs> exactly. I'm afraid people are very ignorant out there. They see things on TV and they get an idea that's what it is. And it certainly isn't. Now, my son, he was a Satanist for many years. What does that actually mean? A Satanist, uh, see, people get the wrong context on that. They're the ones that are supposed to be worshipping the devil. Yeah. But that is not true. Um, it is actually a basic religion of meism. It's all about yourself and what you can get out of life. And they use rituals and things to help them to gain that. And there are some Satanists out there that do use some of the demons' names and, and Satan himself. But to be a Satanist, you have to have a belief in Christianity because of the devil comes from the Bible. So, yeah. you know, it's a joke, really. A lot of people that say they're Satanists, really, all they've done is read the book by um, Anton LaVey and it's a very meek and mild actually religion but people are scared of it because all they see is what's on the telly <laughs> and if they see a pentagram they think oh demons oh satanists yeah. and it's not <laughs> oh we've got lots of children outside yeah um so yeah they get the wrong end of the stick Norse paganism oh, Norse religion is totally nothing to do with that but of course they see stuff on tv again or in films and they just put two and two together and make five i'm 15 16 in september happy birthday for september oh um yeah um no comments so far but i think there's another comment yeah um oh yeah that's the same the guy i think he created the satanic temple he looks like a super villain with <laughs> There's a story about Anton LaVey, apparently. <laughs> it made everyone laugh at the time that he'd done all these rituals and put women on the um, the altar where they had snakes around them and everything. And this house was painted black, his temple. And when he was on his deathbed, he started crying for Jesus <laughs> oh, <I heard laughs> to come him. and save him. <laughs> Oh, I heard about that. Because he was scared that he was going to end up where he'd been talking about for all those years. Oh, my God, I heard about that. And that is sad because if you are if you believe in something, it's a bit like a Norse pagan saying, I want to go to Valhalla. And then when the gates of Valhalla open up, he suddenly turns around and says, no, I don't want to go there now. <laughs> <laughs> and I just find that really extreme that people go to those lengths and really not into it you know you either believe or you don't believe yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i heard about that story yeah i mean it was it was a uh, common knowledge apparently he asked for a priest to come in on his deathbed and they wondered why and it was so that he he could wipe the slate clean and be safe. I wonder what happened. <laughs> I wonder if he went. <laughs> I wonder if Jesus helped him. Oh well, who knows? I mean, he obviously had that belief deep down. Probably grew up as a Christian. Probably. And then turned against it, but knew in his heart that that was his salvation. But all the people that he turned from Christianity. And he had to answer for that to them as well. Oh. And that's why he was scared. Oh. <laughs> yeah. As I say, everything we do has an outcome. You know, cause and what's the word? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you do has an outcome. And it's something we all have to remember. But Norse paganism, Norse practice is, is totally different. <laughs> it makes me laugh, really. Karma. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when I was studying in the coven, 
you know, we we were so near the source, which was Alex Sanders, and he had studied at one stage with the evilest man that lived, and that was Crowley, Alistair Crowley. I don't know. And he was a demonologist in all sorts. Everything he did involved the demons. And he wrote, he was the head of Thelemia. Yeah. Uh, at the time. And the book was Do What Thou Will is the whole of the law. Whereas Wiccans will say, do what thou will, be it not harm anyone else. And so when Alex left that, he went into that side and, and set up his own Wiccan practice, which isn't really Wiccan, it is just witchcraft at the end of the day. But it comes under that term. And that's where I studied all that time. Yeah. Electra said, are demons real? Yes. But it depends what version you're looking at. Now, there is evil in the world, the people that are evil, that believe in these things. And when they pass away, they sometimes don't realise that that's what's happened. And they stay earthbound and they are still the same essence. They still have that energy. And so they will do things that they can do to not hurt people, but scare people and, you know, cause bad energy. And but demons themselves are, you have to remember, there are creatures um, all around. I mean, if, if you look at the nine worlds in the Norse traditions, you've got the giants and you've got the gnomes and you've got elves, you've got trolden. You know, there's so much and they are all in the different worlds, but they can come into our world and be perceived as demons. Same with all religions, they have a darker side. And it's because people have seen these things and have been affected by them. So yes, I, I do believe that there are energies that can come into us and hurt us that are demonic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can feel the energies when you go into people's homes and things. And one of the worst places that I went, which did have a terrible atmosphere, what? and that was an old church. Oh. <laughs> we were on holiday one year in yeah. uh, a place called Norfolk. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, and it was an old church and the doors were still open. We was allowed to go in. I uh, went in and I couldn't bear it. The energy was so bad in there. Really? It was It was horrifying. It was really scary. So much so that I couldn't couldn't stay in there I had to come out and uh, we was only having a look round to see what was in there and That's not you good. know um, just to see what it was like because it was really old That's not good. and when you think the old churches have got gargoyles and demons in so statues isn't that all like around the roofs the pe pe uh, isn't that something to do with the pagans like yeah that was down to because a lot of the churches were built on pagan roots on pagan temples that had existed or the area that had been used by pagans for their you know celebrations and things and so these churches were built in order to get rid of yeah them really to get, rid of them. to get them to come into the churches is there anything else come up um yeah i'm just reading it because it's on one so i just had to pick up the child and read it from here oh right okay yeah um, I just told Electra that. Uh, nothing so far. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and, and that is how the pagans were pulled into the church. And it was very sad because they still went away and practised what they believed. And that's when all the burning of the witches and the hangings took place, came a bit later. But it's because they didn't want to go into the church. I think there's a comment. Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he just said okay to me. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's um, one of them things that, yeah, people that don't perceive the spiritual don't understand these things. They can be in danger. You don't have to be a believer for these things to affect you. Yeah, they can still 
Do you want to have another drumming bit? Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. have another drumming bit. Yeah. I'm going to hold that under my arm. Oh. So, do you want to do do this one now? All right. Wait, oops. So, go. One, two. Well, that keeps your pace as well, so yeah. you do it slow if you want. So go one, two, two one, two, okay. no, yeah, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, yeah, okay, one, and then a little one. Well, what you've got to remember is that not everybody stays there. Um, a lot of the people that go over either become helpers or they move around into a new existence. So reincarnation comes strongly into that. You can come back and go into the same soul tree. Now, a soul tree is where the same people in your life can come back. So in one life, you could be uh, a mother with six children and then come back. One of the children could then be a mother and you could be a husband. You know, what you've got to remember is that when we leave this life, we become spirit again. And so we enter the life with a new one. So the ones that stay over there the ones that have done enough coming backs and they want to stay there and then they deal with a sort of life there. Now, in Norse tradition, we believe we have many different types of places. So there is Valhalla, there is, um, yeah, there is um, Folkvanga, there is the sleep, which is something that purely Seda practitioners believe and the sleep is where you stay but are like in a coma, you know, that's to give you rest and you can be brought back and sent wherever. Then you've got hell and hell is where the majority of people go. So I presume for a Christian that would be like heaven, but not in the way they perceive heaven. So it's not like ecstatically beautiful. It's like where we are now. But for other belief systems, haven and heaven and them sort of places are spirit realms and spirit realms are totally different to what we have here you know we look at the earth and see it getting cramped but in the spirit world you are there and everywhere at the same time there's a whole universe there's a whole planet system we have an abundance of places that we can go to that we couldn't do in a physical body so I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Ever since I have started to research and I don't feel death anymore. Oh, I don't fear death anymore. That's good. Is hell like hell and eternity like a fire and pain? In the Christian belief system, hell is the place. And that related from... Uh, the Bible, when they talk about the fire of Gethsemane and when Jesus talked about Gethsemane in the garden, 
in the Garden of Gethsemane. You had the fiery pits outside the castle at one stage where um, people were thrown into um, the burning fire and babies that had just been born that were sacrificed to some of the gods were thrown into this fire, this awful place that was always burning. And I think the concept came from there that if you were a sinner, you would end up in that fire. And um, But if you look at today's Christians, they will look at that as if you have been a bad person, uh, you will end up in these ever burning fires that you will never be out of pain because fire burns. But I think if you look at it in a spiritual way, if you're dead, you haven't got a body to burn, but you have a soul to burn. And it would be the pain, the pain that you have gone through with the way you was when you was alive. And I think it's the burning out of that from you. There is no hope when you are in the hell flames because they say that you had your time here to repent, to go to heaven. So that's what the Christians believe. But to be honest, I do not believe in the hell fires. I do not believe in any of that. I think we are making our own hells when we pass on and that will stop us either moving on or it will help us to get where we need to go. Is there another comment? Uh, thank you for answering my questions. Can I ask some more? Yes, of course you can. You're very welcome to ask. In ways. <laughs> we love answering questions because normally people don't actually Yeah, ask. normally on my lives people don't really... I, know, I have one person that really talks, but yeah. majority... Like... So glad you're talking. Yes, to it's us. nice to have someone to talk back, really. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. Because I have to get over my fear of being on lives. It's something that yeah I always feared doing, and I don't know why, really. I think it's down to technology. <laughs> yeah. Um. Can we? Can we possess people? Can we possess people with our magic? We can do things to people. Magic is very powerful. You can shape shift into somebody. Really? Oh, of course you can. How? Oh. You have a thing called Ophelia, which is a an animal spirit that is with us. We can ask to change into that. Now that is in it's not physically changing your body, but it is changing you, the real you inside. And so, for example, if you was to change yourself into a falcon, you could fly and you could maybe enter the aura of somebody. And that would be a way of possessing someone, making them do something that they wouldn't do. So it could be to help somebody. It could be that they're going to get hurt. So you're doing it. Stop them getting hurt. Yeah. Um, not always a dark side to it, but yeah. I, I know of practitioners that could send things to them. You could send a nasty spirit to somebody and let them do that damage. But that is dark magic and it has an outcome. Those that practice that type of magic can end up very sick and, you know, it takes it out of them and you can see it in them. They get withered, their skin gets nasty and all sorts of things. So it's not really worth it at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, when we die. Oh my God, wow. Mm. Alistair Crowley was a good example of doing things to people. And there is actually a film of him where he's talking to a reporter and it's in black and white. I wish I knew where that was now because it's quite a good example. He says to this reporter, I'll show you some of my power. And he walks down the street and there's a man in front of him who is also walking. And he goes down, Alistair Crowley, goes down on one knee after looking at the man. As he goes down on one knee, as if he's tripped, the man in front also falls down on the same knee and looks around and say, what did I trip on? You know, 
And then Alistair Crowley gets up and he goes like that. And the man gets up and he goes like that. And he says, and as they walk past, he looks at the man and the man says, do I know you? Like, so it's almost as if he was saying, like, I don't know this man. Yeah. You know, this has not been planned. Didn't know you were coming here. This is, and yeah, it's because he works with real Eastern magic. He, Alistair Crowley had a lot of power. Yeah. Mm. This is really interesting. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want my lives to be about, really. I want them to be interesting. Yeah. I don't yeah. want them to be boring. <laughs> yeah, because normally we just, like, get people just, like, just kind of there. We don't really get to, like, who... Well, you, you know, at the end of the day, people have the choice to speak or not to speak. Yeah. You know, just to be there is good. Yeah. <laughs> Some people are a bit shy. I don't want to type yeah. things in. Yeah. In case I ask them something. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Yeah. So, when do you go back to school then? I know you're going back on the 31st, aren't you? Uh, when's that? You're going back Thursday, but Mum says you can't go back Thursday because you ain't got all your uniform. Yeah, um, <laughs> so I'm going back on, not the 32nd, the 1st. The 1st. Yeah. Um, we, have, we have to go back early. It's a bit the... silly going back for one day, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really get it. Like, That's another comment. Oh, I'm going back tomorrow. Oh, you're going back tomorrow? Yeah. Funny, it used to be September. Yeah, it used to be like the 5th of September. That Around the 7th when your mum was at school. 7th, 8th, something like that. Yeah, it used to be the 5th to yeah. the 7th when yeah. I was younger. But it's now, strange. Um, what's it called? Um, it's all changed. Yeah, I think next year it might go back to normal, but I don't know. Weird. So, have you got any more questions yet? My birthday, my birthday is the 26th of September and Libra. Oh, right. Oh, balance or imbalance uh, yeah. the scales. That's a really good one, actually. It means that you've got even temperament. Yeah, I think, mm. I think my friend is the 27th of September. Right. I can't remember. But, yeah. Oh, she's got a special birthday. Me? Yeah, because it's the 4th of May. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People made a saying for mine because it's the 4th of May. They say, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> yeah, my bus driver. My may the 4th be with you. My old bus driver the same, has the same birthday as you. Yeah? Yeah, and she's, she used to say the same thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Harry. Nice. Oh, is that your name, Harry? That's nice to know. Yeah. So I can can I use that name when answering you in the comments on things then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the life's a bit slow itself. So I it's know, slow. it is a bit slow. But um, yeah, I, to be honest, I didn't think we was going to get anybody today. Yeah. So I just put it on, on slow. So, yeah, that's yeah. probably why we become... Oh yeah, he said yes, of course. That's good. <laughs> so, got a lot coming up actually. We've got quite a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. Um, I've got a um. Oh, the next one is uh, oh, I don't know. Next one. What did we do today? Oh, the questions. Oh and, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got a tag one which I'm doing, and then we've got I've got a collaboration coming up with another creator. Um, and I also want to do something on candles, on not the colours, but the flames, what they do. I also want to do some more lives. And I want to set up where I interview people, which would be good. Oh, kind of like what Starlight does with it. But I want to do it like you can invite somebody on. So you can have more than one person. Oh, yeah. So like I can ask you to talk to me and then I can ask someone else to come in yeah, like, I a could, little yeah. bit later. Like if I was at home, I could still do it. Yeah. Because I'd be able to come on the Exactly. Like, exactly. you just give me a text and I'd yeah. be like, hey guys. I'm so that'd be cool. That'd be really yeah. good. Looking forward to doing more stuff and covering things i also want to do one on one of the goddesses sif i sif. want to do a 
thing on sip I've got something already down to do on that uh, so yeah quite a lot of stuff coming up that I've got planned yeah so like say if I was at my house I'd be able to come on still yeah of course you can because, yeah like um yeah that'd be good yeah so we can still like chat and live so yeah then it might make me less nervous too yeah obviously all creators get a bit nervy before they do anything anyway yeah Guys, do you want to meet a friend? There's not really much. Oh, look. Oh, there's stuff on my finger. I don't know what she's on. He's, <laughs> he's called Hugo, I think. Um, what did I name? Does he have a funny name? No. Hugo? I think it's Hugo. Or Hugo. Something like that. Um, yeah. Wow. I got him last year. Hmm. He, he did make noise, but... Oh, it does. It yeah. makes a noise. It used to be really loud, but for some it needs reason, a battery then. Yeah, it used to be really loud, but the speakers. It happened on the other one. You had to like refund it, and you get to swap it, so I could get a louder one. But so getting back to your spirituality. Yeah. yeah. Before we we go. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, how do you cope around the Christian festivals at school? Um, do you just pretend that you're part of it all oh or do you oh. what oh no your phone went yellow went yellow like the oh it was a notification yeah 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 back to it oh yeah in christian ones well i don't really pretend i'm christian i sort of just i just sort do people of just... know that you're pagan or no i sort of just um go along with it i don't really say anything i just sort of just I mean, I don't really say, um, you can, know. Can you see a time when you come out the broom cupboard? Uh, I don't know. Um. Or do you think it's not worth people uh, knowing? Nah, I don't really think so. Mm. Um, I don't think people would. I don't think it. I mean, you fit in more with society because you don't dress like a witch or anything. Yeah. You're just a modern day witch. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. <laughs> Pun. But, you know, like when I was, I used to dress with flowy skirts and yeah, I, I, it was the way I felt at the time and wore a lot of black and of course yeah. I used to like all the jewellery yeah. and I think I have got a necklace you got me though, which I sometimes wear out. Yeah. And I have the pen again. Yeah, pentagram, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it should come off charge now. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got told if you do any other magic apart from the Norse magic, then it doesn't work and you have bad things happen to you. Got told what? So um, I got told if you do any other magic apart from Norse magic, then it doesn't work and it you have bad things happen to you. No, I can honestly tell you, um, it does work. Um, as I say, my training. When I was, I was in the coven for, and I got my three degrees, um, high priesthood, and we worked magic, and that magic worked, and some of the magic was very strong, because there was a coven behind it, and so you had, I mean, we had twelve people. Sometimes, in fact, we had fourteen in in the coven at one stage, um, and when you've got that much power, it it's power at the end of the day when you do magic. It's energy. Norse magic is different. It's to do with elements. It's to do with using ancestors and powers of that, powers within. Whereas traditional witchcraft is using energy, but it's using energy built up by a group of people and kept in a certain place and used. So, yeah, magic is magic and it works. But bad things can happen to any body that uses magic. Yeah. Because it's the intent. It just depends what it is. If really. you've got the wrong intent when you are doing energy work, you can cause things to happen to other people and to yourself. And so you always have to have a clear mind and emotions have to be stable before you do anything for anybody. Yeah. This thing is it goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, there's other comments. So 
um, this is before you answered, but you said so I'm scared of doing other magic, so I'm knowing that other people are scared of me because they think I worship the devil. <laughs> I love pirates, but fuck off. Yay! Is that it? Yeah. Um. Never yeah. be frightened to use it, but then your fear of doing that could be a good thing till you're ready because obviously you've got to feel okay with doing stuff. But, you know, it's not always about magic. Yeah. It's about the gods and the goddesses. It's about your your path, how you are walking it and what you are doing while you're here. Yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm classified as evil because I do Seder. Now, Seder is known by a lot of people as a dark path. I've never heard of it to not be really it can be dark because we work with death we work with the realms of death but it's not evil unless you want it to be and yes back in the old days satyrs were renownedly known for cursing other villages oh. and doing things like that but you've got to understand that was the mentality of the people of that time that villages were against villages and that's why when the Vikings went who are just travelers they traveled and they fought to get the things they wanted um, they were Nordic people uh, the word Viking just means to travel yeah Saders had a lot of power back then because they were looked up to whereas today so many people have these abilities that we're not we are just practitioners. Um, I don't think the gods want anything to do with me. They never show themselves to me in any way. Mm. But have you tried giving offerings and maybe learning about one in particular? That's how I started with Freya. I started to look up everything about her and then I left offerings for her on her day of the week and then I asked if she would like to be working with me and then I let her answer me and then you look for subtle signs like I would see feathers in the road where I was or there'd be a feather in my living room now where did that come from you know we yeah. haven't got a bird <laughs> I mean I've seen a feather out before um when I was doing something what was I doing again at the park Number. But yes, they can be very subtle with their signs. Um, I was going to, but people told me not to do offerings until I'm older and researched more. Okay, well that's that's fine, but you've got to be comfortable with what you do. You know, I mean, some of the gods have got strange ways, like Odin, for example. If I call, I don't call on Odin because I know he won't come. If I'm doing something that he's interested in, then he will visit, but it will be bleating it'll be like I see his face in something or but I know if I do see him then he will be wanting me to do something so I then have to keep my eyes and ears open to what it is he, he wants me to do but other gods like uh Frere he he's quite there and not just at the autumn time he can be there any time of the year really yeah um this I mean who else i'm trying to think of one that's not so renownedly known um uh, yord another one i mean um they all have their own little ways about them and i go through stages with each one where they might be popping in but i don't always see them i feel their energies and i know what it is that they want so yeah and I will leave offerings, but not every week. Yeah, just sometimes. Sometimes. I think people can overdo it. Yeah, just do it um, once in a while. You maybe. do it when your heart feels the need to do it. Yeah. I remember going over the park and we were I was bashing a stick together and calling on Odin. And it was a gorgeous day. It was really warm. And all of a sudden, there was this cool breeze you were there do you remember um, and it made all the tree rustle I like all the I leaves remember. 
and it just came up like whipped up like a little wind just where we were <laughs> and it was amazing yeah i don't remember it if i'm honest you dedicated that tree to odin that big one with stephen oh do you I remember know. we were splashing the sticks together oh i remember because we didn't have a drum so we were splashing oh the sticks i remember together. now yeah. yeah um who is the god that protects and cares for you like a best friend or is there don't know i think each person makes the gods their own and you know thor is a good one for that he can be quite friendly um balder but of course he had a lot of love to give everybody that's another good one um of course he had a demise i certainly wouldn't be friends with loki in fact i don't work with loki i don't want to tempt fate <laughs> <laughs> and if anything goes wrong i will blame loki because <laughs> he is a jester and he is quite macabre with what he gets up to i know there are people that love to practice with him it's as i say down to the individual yeah but you can't go wrong with thor thor is lovely i've heard that one he's um we spoke about him before. Yeah, he's got a lovely energy. And he looks after this. He looks after Midgard and the people on it. So he keeps us safe. Every time we hear a thunderstorm and there's lightning, we know that he's fighting Trolden. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh... uh. Does fate mean death? No. The Nuns have our fate sealed. Fate can mean many things. The fate of the weird. It can mean that you will have, say, um, at the end of your life, you'll be in an illness which is going to be very debilitating. Or that you will lose all your family. Or things like that. You can have a fate that is there that you can't change it can mean death as well but your fate is something that's proclaimed by the norms at your birth and we cannot change that but we can change small things and alter small bits but you've got to understand that to change things even with magic would be catastrophe for other people as well because all our lines of the weird are all built in together like a web and if you pluck one away it's going to make others collapse so what you do for your life can have a, an effect on other people yeah and that is why we do not mess around with what the norms have done um i've lost all my friends and my mental health is so bad is that because of loki is that because of, because loki? of loki is that because of loki is it because of loki yeah I think sometimes on uh, this sort of path, the right people have to be around us. And I think what we see as a misjustice, losing all our friends, how did it come about? You know, at the end of the day, you have to look for the mundane signs first. For example, were they really good friends to start with? Did you really think you were that close? Or were they just acquaintances? Did something happen to cause it that was out of your hands? You have to look at what happened and why. And then you can see a thread through it. Was it Loki? Was it a spiritual thing? Or was it the fact that you needed to be pulled away from them because you needed to be around different people that are going to come into your life in the next few months? It could be that. I've been there myself. I do not have any friends now and I think it's because I need to be away from people. I need my sort of practice. I need to be in earshot of the gods, in earshot of spirit. I cannot be doing that with other people telling me what I can and cannot do. And so it could be that at your age group, you need friends, you need that around you. So it could be that they were not the right people 
for you and spirit are looking after you yeah try um, to look at it that way he said they were my best friends in primary school and then we moved schools and they replaced me and ignored me and barely spoke to me that happened to me a lot that happens a lot i would not say that that is loki yeah that happens to me say as well it just generally happens yeah people I, move on when they move schools yeah um it that happened to me with my friends from primary as well but what you have to do is put an energy out that says do you know what i'm not bothered about that i'm going to put these new energies out there that portray me as a very interesting happy person that everyone's going to want to talk to and sometimes that can help you meet new people and the older ones then think, hang on, what's going on? I think we need to start talking to him again. And you might find within a few months of everything settling that they might come back into your life. So yeah. it's all about how we put ourselves out there. Yeah, if I'm honest, I'm very antisocial. So I only yeah, I mean, the energies will show it. If you're upset with someone, those energies will be there. They will feel it. And if they feel good about that, they're going to do it even more. So my ideas when I do go through stuff like this is that I, I think a good saying that I use is love your enemies, they hate it. So in other words, be nice to them if you see them, said, like nothing's happened. He said, I've got no one and everyone's mean to me. Oh, I, I'm sorry to hear that you feel like that. Have you been anywhere like to get any help? Like with your feelings because sometimes counselling can really help yeah um at the end of the day sometimes we all need a bit of mental issue health i've been there myself been through mental health health issues and you do sometimes need that little bit of help yeah here's another comment um i have counselling and that doesn't work no it's getting to the root of the problem and then trying to alter how you feel. Try to meditate on, or affirmations are very good. If you stand, that's another one. If you stand by a mirror and look at yourself and speak out the positive side uh, of yourself. I have autism, probably depression, a bit of ADHD, very bad anger issues. Oh, okay. Anger issues. Yeah. Okay. I have autism too. Yeah, so does my grandson. Um, yeah. And a lot of that is down to the fact that I know my grandson has all these issues with yeah. friends. And it's down to the fact that he sees things in a different way to the, the way they see things. And it's basically getting them to understand that because as you get older, your views are more noticeable. And so they see you as something that they can't relate to. And that is very hard. But a true friend, you know, will always stick by you. So you will find a good friend eventually. Someone that will stick by you. So you need to put that energy out there to attract a new friend. Yeah. And then you'll feel a lot happier. It's hard making friends. It's very but, hard. But, yeah. Is it bad now that I've got friends? I like being alone more. <laughs> That's typical. <laughs> you know, it's it's a sign of depression, though. If I'm honest. When people used to invite me places, they used to make excuses of how not to go. Yeah. And yeah. that is depression. That is the fact you can't be bothered. Yeah. So, mm. not always a good thing. Yeah. Um, um, let me see, it turned off. How do I put out an energy? Well, it's basically you need to try to change your thought pattern, which is difficult, but it is doable. So you need to do affirmations, which are speaking to yourself with set commands. So you look at when you're doing your teeth in the morning or brushing your hair, and you're looking in the mirror. You say to yourself, I am worthy. I'm a lovely person. I'm happy today. So you pick something that's going to change you. You go over one thing each time so that you can grow it. So you start off with, I'm happy today. I'm really happy today. And you say that. You don't say things like, I wish I was better. No, 
you've got to see it as a positive thing. So you say, I'm really happy today. And you keep saying it. And you will find that that will start to make you feel a bit happier when you are out and about. It will take a few weeks, but once it sets in, you will start to see a difference. And then other people will see that difference and be attracted to you and maybe start a conversation with you. And so it goes on. You will then say in an affirmation, I love that person that was talking to me yesterday or I will meet a new friend. I have met a new friend and I will. Um, um, I tried it and it started crying for hours. Sorry, I keep rambling about my problems and making this very depressing. I know. I understand. It's very difficult. Do you take any medication that they've put you on? Because sometimes that can help. say you know trying to keep yourself in a happier frame of mind is the main thing um i have not been to the doctors you be perhaps you need to speak to your parents if they're available and get them to maybe make an appointment just to see if there's anything they can give you that will lighten you how you feel because there are things out there that you can have yeah, if I'm honest, it took me years to make friends. Yeah, I mean, you had a terrible time, didn't you? Yeah. Cause they used to just leave you in the playground on your own. Basically. They just ignored you, didn't they? Yeah. I had, like, this one friend, and she left in year two. Yeah. And then I had Scarlett, but sometimes she would, like... She would be horrible to you sometimes. Would she? Yeah, I, I remember that. I can't really remember a lot of my, like, younger mm. years. Well, because you wiped it out. It was so horrible. Yeah. We changed your school, so you, you you know, you had a better time. I mean, you still struggle with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, this I'm scared to go to the doctors because if I do, something bad will happen. No, something will bad happen. Wait, bad will happen, I think. No, you will get the help that you need, and but you have to do it when, when you're ready. But the doctors are not there to put you somewhere. They're not there to cause you they have problems. Not. Believe it or not, in this day and age, when you go with these sort of problems... I feel like I can talk to the support people at my school better than my own parents. Yeah? Yeah, it's, cause it's because you can open you. up. And your parents are too close to you for that sort of thing. So you normally find that people can talk to a counsellor a lot differently. A doctor will say that you might need medication but they're not going to do anything bad to you no they don't do anything bad they just sort of like help. it can only benefit you yeah yeah um what is the time uh it's 4 32 how long have you been there uh it doesn't say on here it will say on there let me look that doesn't matter, we'll check it in a minute. Okay. okay, well, I hope some of this has helped you. And I'm so pleased that you turned up. It was meant to be. <laughs> and I hope to see you soon in another live. But I know that, you know, I don't know where you live. So I don't know whether you're in this country or abroad. Oh, yes, I can send my phone's about to die. Thanks for asking my answering my questions and be back to do another live next time goodbye yeah. take care of yourself bye for now okay so we'll leave yeah. it there but any... live. one hour and nine minutes what's that last comment uh i'm in england oh in england cool so i'll try and do it around the times i'm uh let me just forget my phone i forgot <laughs> what's I forgot that whoa oh god uh oh yeah um i'm in england i'm shepparton and dorset oh lovely oh he said bye bye see you soon bye <laughs>